Welcome gifted crafters and happy new year! Welcome to our 2023 first live event. 
Hey everyone, I am so glad you guys can join us today. Wow, looks like I see a lot of things going on in the chat. So if you're tuning in for the first time, this is our first live for 2023. And my name is Nancy with Gifts HQ. And I host weekly live sessions for anything crafting. So if you love embroidery, sewing, decoupage, knitting, crocheting, any type of craft, you're in the right place because we love all of those things and we talk about everything crafting every week and i like to bring tips and tricks and show you guys and share information all kinds of information that we get from just our our subscribers we get it from our people on the chat we get it people from our facebook group so we mix up all of the ideas that we get from everyone and i like to bring that information off to you and share all of that with you so if that's something that sounds like it's something you like to do then go ahead and join us thank you so much for being here today all righty we have so many things to cover i've got a lot of notes here so i just bear with me on a couple of things here so if you noticed we went ahead and we decided to keep the trivia so i know that you guys really love the trivia so we decided to go ahead and keep it and we're going to be changing it up a little bit every now and then just to kind of, you know, keep things a little bit different. And what we're going to do is try new things and see what works. So, you know, let us know on your feet on the feedback for some of this stuff. Things did you like, things you didn't. So we get a feel for what you guys like to do because we really want to change things up and make things really interactive for this year. So before we get started, technology check. If you can see me and hear me, let me know in the chat. And I wanna say hi to a couple of my friends out there. So we've got a lot of gifted crafters out there. So let me just say hi to a couple of people. I see Cindy Hutchins. I see Crafting with Robin. I see Evie Moore. I see Jackie Hallman. I see Judy Bauer, Marlene Colbert. I see Nana 31331. I see One Minute Tips. I see Robin. I see Crafty, the Crafty Puerto Rican and Yvonne Hudson. I see a few new people out there. So thank you. You guys for joining i'm so excited that you're with us today so we've got a lot going on and thank you guys for letting me know you can see me and hear me because i really want to make sure the technology is working right so you can see and hear everything that we've got to show you all righty so where do we start okay we've got all of the stuff that with the end of 2022 we've had a number of crafters that have supported me and you've really been super special to me and i really really appreciate you guys and you know the end of the year my goal was for us to hit a thousand subscribers and here we are in january we're about to hit two thousand subscribers i am so floored by that this is absolutely amazing and I just truly want to thank you guys. I'm really, really surprised how quickly we started to grow. And I have so many plans for us. And we're really going to have a great time. And I really, really hope you guys enjoy it. So let's see. Um, I can tell you that I really love and, and I really love everybody that's joined us today. And the support that you guys have shown me is truly amazing. So with that, you know, I want to move over to our Gifted Crafter Champion of the Year. And I guess you guys are really excited to find out who that is because I know we've been talking about this for a while. So if you guys are new and tuning in for the first time, we've been hosting the trivia and we decided to kind of just make it a little bit challenging and start we started tracking the points as to who was getting what on the the questions right so we post a weekly uh, bulletin that shows the point standings and we've been doing that for a while and now for the end of the year we want to our announce our trivia champion so with that i think um are we ready all righty guys Let's find out who our 2022 Trivia Cup Champion of the Year was. Let the drum rolls begin. <laughs> yes. 
60 points. Congratulations, Robin. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Congratulations. So Robin has gotten 60 points and she's been a continued member of our group and has been supporting me for a while. So I'm really excited that I was able to announce you as our winner. Now, we've had so many other members too, and it was pretty close, I can tell you. But don't get discouraged because we got a lot of things coming. I mean, this is Gifts HQ, right? <laughs> All righty. So Robin, you now have bragging rights for Trivia Cup Champion of the Year for 2022. So enjoy that title for a while, as long as you can. <laughs> okay, so because you are our very first Trivia Cup Champion of the Year, I wanted to kind of send out a little gift for you. So I really hope that you like it. It's something that I handmade. And so I made it with the Red Heart Super Saver yarn. And this is a yarn that I've shown before. I really love the colors and the speckles on it. And I believe that uh, Robin is up north, so pretty cold up there. So I went ahead and I made a couple things for you. So I've got a little hat just to keep you warm, Robin. <laughs> and it's using that yarn. And I did put a pom-pom using the pom-pom maker that I showed you guys um, from a previous live. So we have this and there's more. I also made a scarf, which I hope you really love. So this scarf is adjustable. You can pull it through the loop. There is a loop here. You can take it out completely if you wanted to. And it goes around you to keep your neck warm. And then on the bottom, I do, I did add some fringes here. So I went ahead and did that. This is very similar to the one that I made for my sister too. So I hope you really like it. Um, I did get, and it just arrived late yesterday. Um, I got some leather tags that say handmade on it and it's really small so I don't know how good you're going to be able to see it but let me try to do it this way. So it says handmade. These are little leather tags that you can attach to your knitted items. So I'm going to go ahead and put one of those tags on your scarf. So you have one there and it's a pack that, you know, I got it from Amazon. So it's got several of them here. It's four different styles. Some of them are the little square ones like I just showed you. And the other ones have like the longer size. So you kind of just bend it and then you put it onto the, you know, garment. So there's a couple of really cute ones. A lot of them say handmade or handmade with love. Um, that's this one here. It says handmade with love. So I'm like, it's kind of cute. So I really like that. And I'm gonna just attach the tag before I can get this out to you. But wait, there's more. <laughs> so the other thing we have for you, Robin, and let me just kind of move these to the side here. We're going to present you with your own gifted crafter apron. <laughs> so I screen printed this onto an apron, very similar to the one that I always use. So I did put it in a little packet for you, but let me take it out so you can see it better. Here we go. So it says gifted crafter, a person making smiles, one craft at a time and gifts HQ on the bottom. So whenever you're doing some crafting things, you can put on the apron and now you have your own apron. So 
if you recall in one of my other um, videos, we made our first gifted crafter apron and I um, presented it to my mom when we were doing the chat among crafters session. So with that, you know, I, we, it was an episode, if you're not familiar with it, it was an episode I did with my mom and she showed off all of her crochet items that she's done over the years, which was quite a lot. <laughs> and, you know, I want to continue that series. So we want to bring on gifted crafters to show off their projects and things. So I think that'll be another fun thing that we can do for 2023. But Robin, we've got this apron on its way to you, along with these other gifts. And there's more. <laughs> so the other thing that we want to present with you, Robin, is I'm going to send you a $50 Amazon uh, gift card so that you can purchase more crafting supplies. <laughs> now, I know you were mentioning that you were thinking of getting the Central. So, hey, that's another thing that you may want to get too. <laughs> so I hope you really enjoy all of these gifts. Uh, Robin, what I will need you to do is if you can send an email, um, just go to our about page and get the email address for um, Gifts HQ. It's giftshq.usa at gmail.com and send us an email with all your contact information so that I have an address and stuff so we can get all this stuff out to you. Okay, because um, it's quite a lot of stuff and I want to make sure that you receive it. And I really thank you guys because, you know, this was really a lot of fun. I didn't know. I didn't think the trivia was going to really take off the way it did. I think you guys really enjoy it. So we want to keep it up and continue to do, you know, a lot of fun things with that. So stay tuned for more on trivia. <laughs> All righty. So let's see what else we have here. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything uh let's see okay so for 2023 let's talk about 2023 i'll skip down to that um we're gonna be showcasing the trivia point standing weekly like we did before so you will still be sending those out weekly and then what we're gonna do is that every quarter we're going to announce the top trivia master and then we'll continue doing that throughout the year and then at the end of the year we're going to reveal our trivia cup champion for 2023 so all of you guys still have a chance to be that trivia champion at the end of the year and you also have a chance to be that trivia master quarterly so let's see how you guys do. Now, remember, we're going to change things up a bit. We, we reset all of the points back and all the points are now one point each. So we're going to continue to do that. But things can change all the time. So we're going to just change it up. You know, you're going to see all kinds of different things. So it was it's it's going to be fun. I think you guys are truly going to enjoy it. All righty. Let me see what else we have here. Um, I told you about the points resetting. Alrighty, I think that's it in terms of announcements for now. So let's take a look at some of the projects that I've been working on. Okay, so we've unboxed and done a lot of things, you know, throughout the various live sessions, which by the way, this is live number 24, if you can believe it. But um, one of the things that I unboxed was the Missouri Star Quilting Company uh, Christmas box. And one of the projects that they had were these hand embroidery type projects. So I finished that one and I just want to show you what it looks like. So on here, it came with the embroidery hoop. And so let me see if I can get this closer because they're kind of small. These are, it's two necklaces and two, um, two necklaces and two keychains. So here are the necklaces. So you see you hand embroider it and then it came with these little um, wooden Things, and I'll turn one in the back so you can see the back of it. It's like a wooden piece. 
and then they have the two little screws on the side you tighten it and she gave you the um the little you know cord for the necklace so i thought it was cute and i went ahead and i finished that so one is the missouri star logo the other one is like their little bird which is i think they're part of their logo too and then the other two are keychains and the keychains are really cute. One is a pair of scissors and the other one's a sewing machine. Well, let me see if I can get that closer to you. Hold on. Now, let's see if I can do it this way. There you go. So a little sewing machine and a pair of scissors. I had to hand embroider those. And then she did provide the clasp for the keychain and then the little wooden things on it too so it was actually overall pretty easy project didn't take me very long at all and it was fun and i like it so it's like i have a little kind of set now so i thought that was cute and i wanted to share kind of the update you know on some of those things because you know there were a lot of projects and i know you know get really busy and then you never get to finish the project so there, this was one that i actually finished so i was happy about that <laughs> so another one that i finished was um let me kind of set these down another one that i finished was the coin purse and this coin purse if you remember here you just kind of had to do i did like a little whip stitch all the way around she provided the thread and you can open it and you can use you can use it to put you know little coins and stuff inside little things and i thought it was cute so i finished that one on the back it says you deserve a tweet Let me put that one up close you can see it's kind of shiny so it's kind of hard to see on the camera but i thought it was cute so that was another little project and this didn't take me very long at all either i just kind of been really swamped especially at work um so because of that you know i had to work really late last night and you know there's so many things going on at work that you know kept me busy on that side so didn't get a chance to really do a lot as much as I wanted but it's okay but we'll get there at some point right <laughs> all righty so let's see I've showed you guys the em the embroidered keychains and necklaces the coin purse the other thing that I was working on and we talked about this a little bit I showed you the little baby booties that I did right so I wanted to kind of see, well, let me see what it looks like when I try to do it as an adult little um, slipper. So I went ahead and did an adult one. And I don't know, it's, it's, I think it's a little tight or narrow on the sides, but then again, it is knit. So it is stretchy, which is nice, but I made a little booty. <laughs> And I think it came out okay. This is kind of like my little prototype for, you know, my little thing here. So what I did was, it is a tube that I did on the machine. And then I did um, cinch the end. And then all I did was, um, I used waste yarn on only one side, not the, not the beginning side. And then on the side that I used the waste yarn, I cinched this together. I think what I might do is kind of cinch it a little more to give it just to kind of define the heel a little bit better. So I think we want to try to do that. And then once I finished that, I kind of folded it over together. And then I just took my crochet hook and cinched this. And I was kind of trying to decide which stitch wh what I could do because I didn't want it to show too much in terms of you know the stitching so you can't really tell where it begins and where it ends but then I kind of thought about it and I wanted to do something else so I kept trying to changing so you'll see the stitches changing a little bit because I wanted to see what each one looked like so let me show you I'm going to put my hand in and try to stretch it so you could see on here so you'll see like the different like this is just the regular 
knitting machine stitches. And then here in the middle, I was trying to do different things to see what it would look like. So I just wanted to see what would be the best stitch to end it with. But I still think it's too plain and it does need something. So maybe you'd be cute with a pom-pom or with a ribbon or something. I'm just not quite sure yet. But you see how the bottom is kind of narrow here? I wanted this to be a little wider. Although it's going to depend on the person's foot too, right? So it could be wider or it could be more narrow. Um, and then the size of this, you know, will depend on the size of your foot and and have a way to figure out you know how you measure your foot and then you'll know how many rows to do um so once i've got this figured out a little bit better i'll try to do a little video on it so in case you're interested in making slippers you can <laughs> but um this is with the same yarn which is that um the red heart super saver and this is the color um aaron fleck on here so it's a nice color, has the nice cute little speckles. You know, it's just I had a lot of it, so I wanted to go ahead and, you know, use it up. So I'm doing my little prototypes with this. And then once I've got it a little better, I think I'll be able to do a, a better tutorial on there. But that's what I have so far. You know, I have them as the baby booties, and then I wanted to try the adult sizes here. And this is kind of what it looks like when it's in progress, right? Because I did one foot, I still got to do the other one. <laughs> So you'll see here how, you know, you kind of just cinch it just like you would on a beanie. You would cinch it here. And then on this side, I had waist yarn. I took the waist yarn out and I cinched this. So if I stretch this out, it makes it a little hard to see where it begins and ends. So you could see here that, you know, can't really tell too much. But the middle is here. And when you crochet it together, you can do a whip stitch, but the problem with the whip stitch, it does kind of show a little more because you see the difference of the stitches. But if you use your crochet hook, then it kind of hides in it. It almost blends it in. So you don't see it so much. So I, I did like that. So then once I've cinched this up, you know, I'll fold it over and start to create the actual slipper or booty <laughs> so you know that's something i'm continuing to work on that and and trying to figure out you know how i could make it look a little bit better but that's you know another project that i'm working on so let me just pause for a minute um see if you guys you know, i know the chat is going on so <laughs> let's just see any questions or anything that you have out there you know let me know <laughs> let's see no, oh, one minute tip says, Nancy, is that for your husband? That looks big. Yeah, <laughs> it did. But, you know, actually, it, it fits my foot and it's a little bit bigger. But I was trying to play around with the sizes to see what it would look like. But, yeah, it probably does fit his feet. But he's a pretty big guy. So um, maybe not because <laughs> he's got some big feet, too. <laughs> So I don't know, I, I just keep playing around with the, the rows and, the, and counts and, you know, I might, because this one I did with the Addy. So what I might do now is also try to do one with the Central, since the Central has 48 pins. That will make it a little bit wider, which is what I think I want. But I guess it would also depend, you know, if you're get, doing this for like for a kid, then you'll want it to be more narrow, you know, so, so I'm still kind of playing with that a little bit just to kind of try to get that down pack uh, let's see uh, the... uh judy's talking about putting some kind of non-slip on the bottom yes and i believe they they do sell them you have these little um almost like glue dots almost but they're not glue dots they you know they're non-slips usually they have them on the bottom of those socks that they sell and you can probably put them on here. I haven't looked into that yet, but that's probably a good idea. Yeah, they'll probably be very slippery, but you know, 
this is, I mean, I wouldn't be going outside with these, you know, <laughs> but this is like kind of like for in the house, keeping your toesies warm, you know, I think it's a pretty good, you know, project here. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, one minute tip. She says my hu my hubby has been craft cranking hats like nobody's business. <laughs> awesome. All righty. <laughs> okay, so that's another kind of little mini project that I was working on. So let me get to the next one. So the next one is something that, you know, I bought this a while ago. And... I haven't really had a chance to do much with it. It's called a sock easy. And I want to say I, I bought this in Amazon. I'm pretty sure. And it is, let me see if I can get this open. Yeah, it's called sock easy. And let me see if I could put that. And what it is, it gives you the ability to embroider on your socks. So as you can see here, I didn't take it out of the hoop yet because I wanted to show you guys. I embroidered initials on a sock. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be initials. You can do little designs, you know, cute little cutesy things on socks. And, you know, what, probably wondering, well, how do you do it on socks? Is it so, such a small area? Well, this sock easy thing really comes in handy. And the way it works, it's like these little metal things that you can get. And let me just undo one so I can show you. It gives you two of them. It has um, two different sizes, one for an adult. This, I think this one's for a child. So you can see here, this is what it looks like. It's just a um, piece of, I don't know, metal, I guess with these two rubbery stoppers here on the top. And then what you do is I just took a sock and I put painter's tape to mark where I wanted the design to be. And so once I have that, you know, I've turned the sock inside out and then I insert the sock into the sock easy. And I bring it all the way to the top. And then I just kind of fold this over into the little hoop they have here. And what that does is it pretty much exposes. Let me just adjust this here. Here. So you can see here. It will expose the area that you want to embroider. So I thought that was pretty neat because, you know, a lot of times we have these really small areas that we want to embroider and we can't just quite get to it like baby onesies for example sometimes they can be a little bit difficult because it's such a small product you know so these things i thought came really handy and i think you can use them for baby onesies as well but what it does is kind of keeps it stretched out and then it exposes the area that you want to embroider and then your machine can just go in and do the design. Now, granted, this is the, the small one. So this is like a child size one. So it's not a great, great big area to embroider. But, you know, they do have the other one that was kind of more like the adult size one. So what I did in order to do this, once I've hooped it, and I kind of just used the painter's tape again just to mark where I wanted the embroidery to be more or less. Um, I took sticky stabilizer and I hooped the sticky stabilizer onto a 4x4 hoop. And then I did place the actual easy sock easy hoop on top of the sticky stabilizer. And because you have the sock here, you know, it's going to hold it down into place. And then once I did that, I did take some wash away and put some wash away on top. And so now I have the embroidered initials on the sock, you know, and it was pretty good. Like I was a little nervous because I thought, you know, making sure that my needle was not going to hit this metal thing. 
but you know I just traced to make sure where the needle was going to go and you know it was going exactly where I wanted and it was pretty small design so it actually worked out pretty well and I was able to do it pretty quickly so you know this is just something new that you know I found and I thought that it was a good help and I can probably use this for baby onesies and I'm gonna give that a try as well because I have a few baby onesies that I want to try to get out a couple little gifts for some friends of mine so definitely you know something like this would help I know some people use the huggers to hold things down or the clamps or you know they can pin things down so there's all kinds of different ways that you can do um, embroidery on these small items you just need to really expose the area that you need the needle to get to and then make sure that it's cleared and out of the way of the needle but this is just another little gadget that I found out there and I thought um, you know why not give it a try I've never really embroidered a sock but hey you know it actually turned out pretty cute so if I remove now I could take this wash away off I'm gonna take it off the sticky stabilizer here let's put that to the side and then I just take it off of the hoop this is what the hoop looks like this is like the larger size one so it's pretty big compared to the other one that's really small and then all I'll do is turn this sock inside out and there it is turn it inside out all the way here there we go so we've got the initials on the sock so I thought that was pretty neat you know something different not something you do all the time but you know I know that my husband and my son are constantly fighting over the socks because now that he's gotten older his foot has gotten much bigger and they're starting to look a lot the same <laughs> so between the two you know if if they're they're always fighting for socks so you know if i put the little initials on them then you know you can we'll know these are your socks and these are them so you know i i'm trying to start knitting some socks so you know um kind of working through the process and learning it still but you know this is something that if you know if you're a person that knits socks or you know you want to just embroider the socks and stop your kids from fighting over which socks are theirs <laughs> this is a great way to do that <laughs> you can put the initials or you can put little designs so just something that you know I decided to do and it was just a little project because I had saw this little gadget and I thought well it was it was relatively cheap I honestly don't remember because it was a while ago but I know it wasn't expensive at all and so I went ahead and purchased this and I didn't get a chance to use it till now so this is um, why I'm sharing this with you guys so let me just see if we have anything in the chat uh, Robin says that's neat <laughs> One minute till she says, I need that, looks handy. Nana says, I want a knitting machine, but I don't want to waste my money. So if I bought the Sentra and it didn't last long, but there's a huge difference in the price on the Addy options. Yes, Nana, there's, there's a huge difference between the two of the machines. And let me put it to you this way. So you have the Sentra machine, which is a pretty good machine. It has the 48 pins to it. Um, it'll get you through a lot of projects but the gears inside the machine are not as well as well made as the Addy. The Addy gears are much more of a professional type and it will last longer. Now the Addy's only 46 needles so you know this is you know this is all my opinion so you know I think you know the Addy if you're in it for the long haul and you're going to be making a lot of these hats and scarves and things like that i would just go for the addy but if it's just kind of a hobby side thing you, you think you'll make it for a while and you're probably going to stop or you know you don't plan on selling them or things like that then you'll probably be fine with the central 
but it really depends, you know, what you're gonna use it for. So, you know, both are really good machines. I, I've shown you guys projects that I've made with both of them. You know, I did a side-by-side -side comparison to show you what the end results look like. And, you know, the only difference was that, you know, Addy's 46 pins and uh, Centro is 48. So it does, it has about, you know, a little bit more wider um, or width to it, but not that much. You know, it's just you know, a couple more pins. So you do have that little bit of a difference. The Addy, again, the gears are better. Now, the Centro has the tension guide, the yarn guide, so you can pick your tension. You know, it, it, um, the Centro has the three little notches where you can put the yarn through. The Addy has the tension guide, but the actual tension, I think, in my opinion, it's more on your hand. You can kind of control that tension as you could with the central too. You control how tight or loose you want that stitching to be. So it really depends, you know, what you want to make, how much of those items you want to make. If you think you're going to make a lot of them, then, you know, you may want to go for more of a professional type, you know, product. But with that, of course, is going to be you know, more money. So just, just like the sewing machines and all the other gadgets that are out there, you know, you have your, your okay brands that get you through everything. And then you have the Mercedes that are out there with their top notch that, you know, give you better quality type stuff, but a lot more money. So you got to kind of just make that decision as to, you know, which one is better for you, because that's what it all comes down to. So Think about what are you planning on using it for? Think about, you know, how much of, how many pro products you're gonna make with this. And if this is kind of a long lasting thing. Or you could just kind of look at what I did. I started with the Central and I was happy with the Central. Then all of a sudden I got surprised with the Addy. But I've been pumping out so many knitting things <laughs> since then. And I got my daughter a Central as well. So she's knitting away as well. So, you know, it's like I wanted to kind of keep doing it. And I think my hubby knows that, you know, I love crafting. So it's it's going to be a while. You know, I just didn't want to spend the money up front. So I didn't. But, um, you know, try it out. You know, there's certain things on the central that people say break down. Like some people say that the counters break down. Well, you can buy a manual counter. You can buy those. Um, there's a magnet that you can put and it'll count. You know, there's different things that you can do. Little hacks here and there that you can do that'll that'll level it up if you don't want to spend that money. Or, you know, you start off with that. And if you see it's something you really like, then you go and you get the Addy. You know, so just kind of feel out you know, what you want to do with that. Okay, let me see. Uh, so Nana's asking, did you do the sock on the flat flatbed embroidery machine? I did it on my SE 1900. So on this machine right here. Yeah, it's, it's a simple, it's on the small hoop, the four by four hoop. Um, and again, sticky stabilizer with the wash away on top. So that's how I did it on the machine with this sock easy thing. So anyone can do it on a flat bread. I mean, I don't have a multi needle machine. Um, so, you know, I, I do everything on my 1900. <laughs> Let's see. I got my hubby the Centro. It's not that bad, but like Miss Nancy said, it all depends on its use. Yeah, trust me, my hubby isn't selling hats. <laughs> yeah, you know, because that's that's another thing. You know, are you going to sell these products, or are you going to be making a lot of them? So then you may want to invest a little bit more, you know, so it lasts longer and you know, well-made machine. You know, other than that, I mean, the Centro is fine. Let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are having fun with the chat. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So that's another project that I made um, on there. And this 
I think, you know, it's something that, you know, if you sell, you know, something and you can do like little hearts, you know, for, especially for Valentine's Day, you do little socks and do little hearts for like little kids and things like that. It's a cute little, you know, idea, something just a little different than, you know, what we've all seen out there. So that's just, you know, yet another little project that I have out there. Alrighty, so that's the sock easy. And let's see. I did show you the tags. Now, I do have one more thing. And if I can get this over. I did get uh, <laughs> another Addy machine. Yes. <laughs> but this is the Addy 22 pin needle machine. So this is the smaller Addy. So I'm going to do an unboxing video. I'll try to get that out as soon as I can. Um, just got this. So it's just some of the projects that I have requires the 22 needle machine. So I went ahead and got this one. It was like 100, 117 bucks, something like that. I think I paid for it, you know, but it's, it's a small little machine and I'm going to be able to now do some projects that I wasn't able to do before because now I can kind of, you know, do one part of it on the big machine and the other part on the smaller machine and then I can kind of put them together. So I'm thinking little teddies, little um, blankies for the kids, you know, things like that. So, so this is another item that I just got. It's 22 pins and you know, it's an Addy, so I like it. <laughs> so I'll do an unboxing of this and I'll get this out for you guys. And let's see what I can make with this little machine. It's a cute little machine. You can see it's just a little round thing there. And I want to make some really cute stuff. And there's so much yarn out there right now that's on sale, guys. I think, um, was it Joanne's that was having a sale. Um, Michael's had a sale. I don't know if that sale's still on, but there's a lot of yarn sales out there. And they're trying to get rid of all that end of the year Christmas type yarn, but you could use some of that for Valentine's Day because of that red color. So, you know, if you're into the knitting or the crocheting, get out there and see what they have because there's a few things going on and you may want to pick up a couple of things that you can get relatively cheap for the next project so i know the next holiday people are already putting things up for valentine's day so that's yet another you know holiday coming up but you know i want to focus um a little bit on everyday type items that you guys can you know, projects that you guys can do and sell or, you know, whatever, you know, if you want to give us gifts, I want to help you guys do some of that. And then, you know, we'll do a couple of Valentine's Day stuff too. But I think that's pretty much everything that I had for you guys for today. Let me just do a quick check to make sure I did not miss anything. Let's see. I think I got everything here. So Robin, don't forget to send us an email with your info so we can get all this stuff out to you. And, you know, you guys can keep, you know, looking at those trivia questions. Cause remember, we're gonna change things up right now. Everything is one point each. So we're gonna change it up from one week to the next. It could be from one, one point to five points to, you know, we can do all kinds of stuff on there. So maybe, you know, some of this stuff, you know, can be changed. So let me see. I see Amy says, I belong to a charity crafting group and there are some that are using both the central and the Addy, depending on what size hat or cow they need. I loom knit and I'm thinking of getting a machine. Yes, Amy, get it. <laughs> I also have and don't have them with me here. I have these little small looms that came with a pom-pom set and I haven't really had a chance to really try them out, but I've seen the other looms and I've been thinking of getting some of those too. But you know, this knitting machine, I just love it. You know, I, I love, you can crank, you can just pop in a, a movie or something and just crank away. And you know, you can make so many amazing projects with this. 
and changing the colors makes it super easy. Like everything is really neat with these little machines and I love them a lot. So, you know, definitely I would recommend go ahead and get it. <laughs> because they are just so much fun there's so many things and there's tons of videos out there to show you how to make all kinds of stuff i mean just on these little items i mean i had to kind of research to figure out how to make these things and you know i think you know just these the the scarf the hat and there's so many other you can do a purse you can do so many things so i know that i'll probably be tackling I'm working on the booties, but I'm also looking to tackle how to make a purse. And I kind of want to do something where maybe the outside of the purse is knitted and then the inside will have the actual fabric and have that, that durability for you to be able to put heavier type items. So I'm looking at making some designs for that. And I want to start sharing some of my designs on our on our website so we're kind of building to some of that stuff and you know just kind of put all this together it's just so i can get all this information out to you guys and you guys can some people will be selling it on etsy or you know giving them as gifts so i really hope that you guys like that but definitely a lot of um, charity groups that i've seen as well is on the beanies you know a lot of homeless shelters i've found out that they are you know, they collect these meanings. So that's something that I'm also interested in looking at too. So, you know, we can do something like that on this channel too. And I think that would be a lot of fun. So let's see. Robin says, what is the email address? It's on the about page. It's giftshq.usa at gmail.com. Let's see. Does anyone have any experience with AliExpress? Um... I've known of some people that have purchased from AliExpress and, and I haven't heard of any issues. The only issue I hear is it does take a while to get the stuff. But yeah, I think it's a pretty reputable site. Let's see. Oh, looks like the size needed to make infant hats for new, newborns in the hospital in the NICU. Oh, that'd be nice too, Judy. That'd be great. And Robin says... Uh, Crafting with Robin says, I haven't mastered the Centro yet, and Nancy has me wanting an Addy. <laughs> she has a free, uh, she, <laughs> and she should get a free Addy for promoting them. <laughs> no, I don't get a free Addy. <laughs> no freebies here. I had to buy this one, and that's fine because I, you know, I like to just get my own stuff. That way, I put my own opinions and stuff on there, and you know, I'll I'll tell you what I think is good and what I think is bad, you know, as I do these, so as I, I like to keep it honest, you know, you know, but I, I like the machine so far, you know, I, I can't say anything real negative about the Addy. Um, I, I really like the machine, I, but I do like my Centro too, you know, so there's different things about the two machines. You just have to pick out what works for you. Okay, let's see. Oh, One Minute Tips is saying that AliExpress is cheap, but takes a super long time to get things. Yeah, but it's never had an issue into getting money back. Oh, so there you go. Awesome. So Amy says, I have an autoimmune disease that has affected my hands. That's why I started looming. Oh, and you know, I talked about that in my video because the Centro has a different handle than the Addy. So as you can see here on the Addy Express um, on here, this is the 22 pin, but the 46 pin has the similar handle and it's kind of round. So it, it's a little bit hard to grasp and kind of get used to it. But um, let me see if I have it. Hold on a second. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So, of course, I've got my Addy nearby. So this is, let me move this over here. Hold on. And let me move the mini one back here. This is the 46 pin. And as you can see, the handle is very similar to 
the 22, right? So it's got that round. So grasping it and then being able to turn, it's a little different than the central. The central actually has a little nook and I found it to be a little bit more comfortable to be able to crank that. So let me see if I get you the central so I can show you that one too. This is the difference. I don't know if I can, I'm gonna try to put them side by side so you can see. So on here, see how the central has this little nook here? So it makes it a little bit more comfortable when you're grasping the handle, where the Addy is just a flat circle. So you gotta kind of encompass it with your hand. And sometimes, I mean, if you're doing rounds and rounds and rounds of this, it, you know, it could kind of get to you because your hand is kind of cramped into that position where the central, it's a little bit more easier or, or nicer on the hand, I guess. I don't know how, if I'm saying that right, but you know, it's, it just felt a little bit more comfortable. So when I got my central, I was used to this handle. And then when I got the Addy, it kind of took a while for me to train myself into grasping this handle. But now I kinda got used to it, so it doesn't really bother me. But for someone who has issues with their hands, you know, I could totally, you know, understand that. Now they also have those adapters that you can get that, you know, they're, you can put like on an electric screwdriver or something, there's an adapter and it spins it for you. You know, I haven't tried that yet. I'm, I'm, I've seen, good things and bad things about that <laughs> so i haven't really gotten into that but that is available and then the other thing that they have out there they do have an electric addy so that one is just kind of powered and it turns but it doesn't go very fast so i don't know too much about it i've only seen a couple things here and there so you know I, I can't really tell you if it's great or not. I've just seen it out there. So just kind of do your research out there to see. But um, I know it's available out there. So you may want to take a look at that. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> Rita says, I have a central, but I'm thinking about getting an Addy. It seems to be more accurate. I hate it drops less stitches. It does. I... I I have to say, I haven't had too many drop stitches on this. So, you know, I, I'm pretty happy with the way it is. But remember, Rita, that it's all about the tension too. So, you know, pay attention to how much tension you're putting when you're doing it on the central. And look at those needles, because the needles can go bad. You know, the needles sometimes, you know, need to be replaced. And they do sell them that you can just replace the needle. And sometimes, what you can do is look at whatever stitch is dropping and mark it and then continue and see if it drops the stitch again in the same location. If it does, you may want to replace the pin. So just um, kind of a little tip for you there because I think the pin replacements, you can get them relatively cheap. Okay, Kathy says, I buy from AliExpress all the time for three years. I've only had one issue. Awesome. Okay, yeah, and <laughs> more on the drop stitches. So so the other thing about the drop stitches, you know, you can fix them. There are ways for you to fix your drop stitches while they're still on the machine, and then you can fix them off the machine. That's another thing that you can do. So if you have a crochet hook or even just a loom pick, you can fix those drop stitches. You don't have to start your project all over again. Because I know you could get to like, maybe you have a project that requires like 200 rows and you're like on the 80 something row, you know, and it started dropping stitches. You can fix it so you don't have to start all over. And I'm gonna try to do some videos on that. That's one of the things that I, you know, had on my list of videos to do. And I wanna show you guys how you fixed drop stitches on your Addy and on your Central. Um, that way you don't have to start all over because it's a huge time saver. It really is. And it's very simple to do. And I, I have a, a third co camera so that I can get really detailed um, views for you guys because I want you really to see how I fix those. So hopefully that's going to be coming really soon. 
Okay. Kathy says, lately, really quick, seven to 10 days, depending on all their different shops from everywhere in China, depending on where it's coming from, determines the length of time. Sometimes I wait a month, usually no more. Awesome. Okay, so not bad. Seems like a lot of people do use their the Alibaba, so that's great. Oh, let's see. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So Kathy says, I'm a card maker and I buy Dyson stamps and those companies seem to get everything to me pretty quick on time. I bought a blouse, one fit, and it was huge. Nice. Okay, so I think that helps out everyone, you know, so it's a little bit more encouragement. People seem to have good experiences with, with them. So definitely something you can start looking at to use. All righty. So... I think that is everything. Let me just go through my notes one more time to make sure. Oh, the trivia questions. First one was thimbles, second one was flowers, third one was the waffle stitch, and the last one was shoes and the waffle stitch. I showed you guys last week, um, that was a new stitch that I started playing around. You can do it on your Addy as well as on the Central. Uh, it's really fun design to do and pretty easy. And I'll be getting some more information to you guys on that. So stay tuned. So I think that's everything that I have for you guys. I know we're right about a little bit over time. So thank you so much for attending today's live. And I hope to be crafting with you soon. Bye.